Welcome. This is from 3 Mathematics and the topic today is on equation of a circle. So the question reads, the diameter AB of a circle passes through point A, which is negative 4, 1, and point B, 2, 1. Find the equation of the circle and leave your equation in the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is c, where a, b, and c are constants. So uh, we can begin by sketching. So we have a circle, and this circle has a diameter, and the terminals of the diameter are point A. So for point A, we are told that the coordinates are negative 4, 1. For point B, we have 2, 1. So we are interested in the center of the circle. And the center of the circle must be the midpoint of the diameter AB. So the midpoint, let's have it as C. The midpoint C, which is the center, will be obtained by simply uh, having the average of negative 4 and 2, negative 4 plus 2, divide by 2, comma, for the y's, 1 plus 1, divided by 2, so that the coordinates of point C should be negative 1, comma, 1. So with that, we can now determine the radius. So we are interested in the radius. And in a short while, I'll explain why I'm beginning by finding the radius. So the radius will be the magnitude of AC. So first of all, AC is obtained as, so let's have it as a vector, AC is obtained as negative 1, 1, minus negative 4, 1. So what you are going to have here is negative 1 minus minus 4, that is 3, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So that is AC. So for us to get R, R is just the magnitude of AC, which is obtained as the square root of the square of components of this vector AC. So the x component is 3, so we square 3 plus 0 squared is just 0. So that should give us the square root of 9, and that is 3. So the radius is 3. From there, uh, we can now determine the equation of the circle. So we are going to begin by looking at the general equation of a circle, which is given us x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is given as r squared. So that is the general equation of a circle. So we are going to substitute. So remember, a and b are the coordinates of the center the center of the circle, which are given as a comma b, and r is the radius. So substituting the values, because already we have got the center and we have got the radius. So substituting, we are going to have x minus 
negative 1, so that is x plus 1. Remember, a here is negative 1 squared plus y minus b, and b is 1. Sorry, minus 1 squared. So that should give us radius squared, so and the radius is 3, so 3 squared. So that is x plus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared, which is equal to 9. So uh, when this is expanded, we will have for this part x squared plus 2x plus 1. plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 9. So at this particular point, we are going to express this equation here in the form given right up here, x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is c. So, first of all, remember we still have one here and another one and nine. So, let's combine the constants. So, we have x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 2y plus 2 is equal to 9 and then we take 2 to the other side x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 9 minus 2 and that is 7 so it's not yet in the form still we have x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is equal to c so we are going to rearrange this so that we have x squared plus y squared and then it will follow by 2x and then finally it will follow by minus 2y and then you go to constant c and for this case it is 7. So that way we have expressed it in the form required. So that's it for this question. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for your patience. Thank you for watching and see you next time.